In earlier videos, I showed you how you can go into the gradebook in Schoology and create scoring columns for assignments, for prep and practice, and body of evidence. If you look in my materials section, when I created those assignments, they actually get automatically placed into my materials folder. So you can see the prep and practice sample that I made here, as well as the body of evidence sample. So when I go to my gradebook and create an assignment, it places those assignments over into my materials folder. You can do that in the opposite direction. You can go into your materials folder and click on add materials. And here you can add an assignment as well. Really any of these choices will allow you to create columns in your gradebook to score items. So if I add in an assessment here in my materials folder, if I attached um, something where I was using either a scale or a rubric, um, I could create something that I'm then going to assess in the gradebook. Um, you could even do that here with a file or a link. You might have someone watch a video and uh, you could actually build that in um, by attaching a scale or a rubric um, to give yourself something that was in your grade book that would allow you um, to give a score for a prep and practice or a body in, of evidence. Um, you can do that with a discussion. You might construct a page to do that. Um, I'm not sure how you do it with a media album. Um, maybe art teachers would figure out some use for that. Um, and don't worry about packages. Um, we aren't utilizing those um, at this point. So, so I'm going to show you how from this side, from your materials folder, how you can create an assignment. Um, we'll just do a simple one um, for a prep and practice. And then we'll go over and take a look at how it adds that to your grade book. Okay. So again, I'm in my course. Instead of going into my gradebook, I'm in my materials folder. I'm going to say add materials. I'm going to go to add assignment. And again, this was the same box that popped up when I clicked on the small plus circle in the gradebook. Um, so we'll say prep and practice. And we'll say this one's from materials just to identify it. And then again, you use this box here um, to provide information or directions related to the assignment. Use the formatting toolbar at the top um, to generate that information that's going to be visible to students. You can attach files, links, something from your Schoology resources, or again, you could use audio and video recording um, to include as information or directions um, related to this assignment. Remember down here um, to set a due date um, for that assignment. So I'm just going to again go out here to the 31st. You want to set your category of body of evidence or prep and practice. I'm going to make this a prep and practice assignment. And then not worry about the points or the factoring here. But I do need for a prep and practice, I want to go down and select prep and practice for the scale rubric. That has changed the point value of this. And again, you can see it automatically attached down here under learning objectives. This is um, that scale for work completion that will allow you to score that um, with a rubric that we've attached for this score um, from zero to one. One for completion, 0.5 for partial completion, and zero for no evidence. Remember when you score something to click save. That's not important here because you're just creating the assignment. And then again, this options toolbar at the bottom. By default, submissions are enabled. Pub it's published to students. If you don't want to, them to see it right when you create, the assignment, um, you could set that at a later date um, and you, or turn this on at a later date. And then comments are enabled. Remember, if you are creating an assignment for multiple courses, 
you want to select copy to courses so that you don't have to repeat this process and create the assignment in, in those multiple courses. And then just push create. So now here's my prep and practice materials in here in my materials folder in my materials area. Again, I can grab that and reorder it into different places. I could put it inside a folder by just grabbing it and dragging it to a new spot. Remember there's, as you create assignments, there's also like, as I go in between these different items in my materials folder, you get this little green plus with the dashed line. If I select that, it'll bring up the add materials drop down menu and when you create that it'll go right in that position inside your materials folder okay so let's go look over in the grade book and see if we find this prep and practice materials assignment okay i named these both prep and practice so i'd have to hover over here and I can see, here's my prep and practice materials assignment. As I score that in the middle here, I click on the little Rubik's Cube. That brings up that rubric for me to score. Remember, when I do score, I can give comments right here too. There's a little comments bubble. But I need to push save so that it records that score inside of my gradebook. Also remember that you can use the flags here to help indicate if something was submitted, it's exempt, incomplete, or missing. And then here on the right side, you also have a place that you can click on to give comments.